Every truck on the road today is a feat of engineering. But the growing demand for specialized trucks has pushed the business of heavy hauling to new extremes. Vehicles are now bigger, more powerful, and carrying heavier loads than ever before. But which truck is the ultimate? Which is the fastest? Kids would look at it like, oh, dad drives a transformer. Which is the best over tough terrain? And which can carry the most? It's like driving a two-story house, basically. In our search for engineering excellence, we've scoured the toughest workplaces on the planet. Testing, analyzing, racing, to establish the best of the best, the world's toughest truck. From the US to Australia, from Germany to Scotland to South Africa, we picked five trucks that push engineering to the extreme. They grip and flip to ship their loads to wherever they're needed. These are the big boys. They're not always the prettiest or the most sleek, but they are the most powerful things on wheels. Our contenders, the Mack Titan, the big rig of choice for Australian truckers in logging, mining and livestock hauling. The R730, Northern Europe's king of the road, with specs to suit the extremes of temperature and terrain. The M3 amphibious rig, the British Army vehicle that's at least half transformer. The T282C, the mining truck that's so big, it has its own staircase. And South Africa's Marauder, the armored beast designed to withstand anti-tank mines. Five machines, five engineering marvels. Now, five tests to tell us which is the world's toughest truck. We're testing, analyzing, and rating the world's toughest trucks. So far, the R730 and the Marauder are leading the way. But that could all change, because next up, it's Gradient. Which machine can climb the steepest slope? The reason we actually have stuff is because some trucks actually hauled it to where we are. If we had to go out and get it ourselves, most of us would probably take a look at the first hill and think, no thanks. At five, the T282C, which can scale a 12% gradient. That's roughly one meter up for every eight along. As well as going up and down hills all day, it's carrying so much mass, it's the same as giving four and a half thousand people a piggyback. At four, the Titan. Considering all the weight it's pulling, its ability to climb a 20% gradient is pretty impressive. Most conventional trains can't even handle gradients of 3%, but the Mack Titan can handle some seriously steep hills. At three, it's the R730. It can tackle a 35% slope while still trucking on at top speed. So for each three you go along, you're going up one. Any gradient bigger than that, it's less of a steep road and more of a gentle cliff. At two, the amphibious M3. It can handle a 60% gradient in either direction. Most vehicles can go down a slope into the river. It can then carry on and power up and out the other side. So in first place, like the M3, it can climb a 60% gradient, but it can also do it while tilting sideways without rolling over or losing momentum. It's the Marauder. So for every 10 meters it goes along, it can go six meters up. This thing can climb mountains and it can do it all day. The Marauder is built to carry a dozen troops into combat, to get them out fast when the time comes, and to keep them from harm, no matter what firepower the enemy brings. The mission of the Marauder is to keep people safe, get them from A to B, uh, 
protected against bullets and blasts. Simple as that. This truck is the brainchild of a team based in Johannesburg and led by John Craig. Originally trained in aircraft design, he spent the last three decades in the defense industry. And while the engineers at this factory work to hand build 12 new trucks before the end of the month, he knows that every one must be capable of stopping a bullet or surviving a mine blast. That's why he'll see each one off the production line. If we fail in our mission, if we don't get the design and the build quality right, people die. So this is deadly serious. These machines need to be both powerful and maneuverable. Most of all, they need to be very, very rugged. No Marauder leaves without proving that it won't fail on the battlefield. It's now this one's turn to face the manufacturer's testing ground. An assault course purpose-built for trucks. The name of the game is to test the truck to its limits. And those limits are pretty high. John Craig's team set out to build a vehicle that would handle easily. It's fully automatic, it has power steering, it's as easy to drive as an MPV or, or a big 4x4 SUV. Not bad for a machine that weighs more than a double-decker bus and packs a 300 horsepower engine. And it actually shrinks around you. You, after a while, forget that it's such a large vehicle. To be certified battlefield ready, the Marauder must be able to maintain speed through water one metre deep. Then prove that its suspension can handle any obstacle. And that 60% gradient? It looks like this. The Marauder has a gas tank big enough to get it from London to Paris and back again without refuelling. It's happy to off-road at 120 kilometers per hour. And if it hits a rock or the tires are shot out, it'll drive a guaranteed 50 kilometers with four flats. But there's still one big test, tougher than all the others, which this vehicle has to pass. The biggest threat to any modern military truck is an improvised explosive device or IED, detonated under the vehicle. When a truck has a conventional flat underside, it absorbs the full force of any explosion. If you have a flat hull, um, it's like putting your hand out to the wind. Uh, that's a very high drag. But the Marauder has a different shape, a V-shape, like the hull of a boat. If you put a a V-shaped hand to the wind, there's, there's a lot less drag, and it's the same with the, with the blast. There's a lot of energy coming from below, and quite simply put, a V-shape allows a lot of that blast energy to roll up the sides of the vehicle and not impart uh, an acceleration directly into the flat floor of the vehicle. Add to that a uniquely formulated top-secret system of armor plating, and you get a machine that can take this. capable of surviving a blast of 15 kilograms of TNT under any wheel and a 50 kilogram blast from the side. The Marauder will keep everyone in it safe from harm. Equipment can be repaired, human life can't be replaced. Now John Craig will send this Marauder out, firmly believing that no matter how hostile the environment, no matter what threat it encounters, it will do its job. This is an absolutely awesome vehicle. It's got real personality. There's no way to describe it. You have to experience it. There are very few vehicles where if you accidentally park on 15 kilos of TNT, that then explodes, you can then continue to drive off. This vehicle, it, it transcends bulletproof.
So, five extreme trucks. Five incredibly diverse feats of engineering. But which one is the ultimate? To find out, we have to consider their weight, speed, length, climbing ability, and power to weight output. Here's the final result. Grinding into fifth place is the T282C. In fourth, the amphibious M3. The Marauder clambers into third. Whilst the R730 keeps on trucking in second. That means the winner, ferrying cattle, logs and mineral ore across thousands of kilometres of Australian outback, is the Titan. Combining the versatility and speed of a big rig with the massive load-carrying ability of a rail network, it has all the characteristics of the world's toughest truck. They have cars driving a couple of kilometres ahead of them just to warn other drivers to get out of the way. Because when these things get going, it's not easy to stop them.